Hey guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. It is Friday, which means we are doing another decorating for spring video. Now, next week will most likely be my last one in this little bit of a mini series that I have been sharing in regards to spring decor goes. So next Friday, I'm going to be posting my big Easter decorate with me. I think I'm finally ready to pull out all the bunnies. So plan for that. But in today's video, I thought I would share a little bit of an Easter slash spring decor haul and then also do some decorating mainly because some of the stuff is just so cute. I just want to put it out right away instead of setting it aside till next week. So I'm thinking I want to do my dough bowl that, which is kind of on my sideboard in the kitchen area and maybe that little wall basket area kind of by my sliding glass door. I'll show you that, but we're going to decorate a little bit in the kitchen for spring and Easter, and I'm going to share it all in today's video. We will start off with the haul piece. First, I have some Walmart finds, like a couple Walmart, one Kirkland's, two Amazon, and then a few Hobby Lobby pieces as well. One of the comments on my last video, we get it, you like... Hobby Lobby, I'm like, yes, yes I do. Now we just, we don't have a lot of shopping options around where I live. I can shop online all day, but sometimes it's just nice to go in the store and look and browse and find some cute stuff. So Hobby Lobby for the win, they always come through for me. I am obsessed. So anyways, let's jump in the haul. I'm going to start out with this cute pillow. This was the only thing that I actually picked up at Kirkland's online because we do not have one here i bought this it's probably been a month or two now when they first like posted their easter decor i just thought this pillow was adorable the little bunny on it with the gold glasses and bow and i love just the trim on the pillow and so this is super cute i'm thinking this will probably make its way in here i think the kids will love that it's adorable so i think i got this 30 percent off which is why i ordered it when i did and it was originally 19.99 so super cute little pillow that we can put out in here since we are on the topic of pillows i will share with you this one he is so cute as well i wanted to find a vintage looking pillow i think this one will work perfectly and so I got this off of Amazon. It is really nice quality and you can kind of see it right there. Very good size. And I can link this below for you. I think that's a really cute Amazon find. So I got that. I have the perfect spot in mind for this one. And then I've gotten a lot of questions on tulips. Where to get the best tulips? And I will tell you, Amazon has some great deal so i got i i didn't even know that i was getting this many when they arrived but i got 30 tulips for less than a dollar a piece i want to say they were probably like 60 cents a piece so a great deal per tulip but i ordered the light pink they have all kinds of different colors they have white ones as well but i really wanted to order them just to see what the quality was like to see if they actually looked real and i think they do like they will work perfectly so they have more like a plasticky stem like it's very stiff and plasticky but then the leaves are more like they look very real to me and they do kind of I don't know you can move them around just a little bit i think they're really cute i was playing around with them in my farm fresh face so just to show you here what they look like this is one bundle of 10 it came with three bundles so i think they look cute i didn't do anything just take off the bow and plop them in this vase so i i mean they could use a little bit of arranging i might be able to add more but perfect little touch of spring so i will be putting this in my kitchen so that is uh, the only two Amazon things that I have picked up. Let's talk Walmart. So Walmart has some super cute things out for spring and Easter. I had a hard time trying to decide what I wanted, but then I walked by and, you know, it was just love at first sight. Now, my Walmart does not have these anymore. I think they sold out pretty quickly, but it's a spring wreath. I want to say it was $16 but I loved the sign on the bottom. It's like an enamel looking sign. It says hello. And then you get the white and a black striped 
little bow on the top and I'm actually going to put this back on our door that goes out to our garage. That's our main door that we use. I've never had a wreath on that door, but I thought that with summer and spring, us going in and out all the time, that's where guests come in and out as well. It'll be nice to have a little bit of decor on that door. So I thought that was a really good find from Walmart. I really liked that one. This was also another thing that I fell in love with. Ooh, I'm gonna break something over here. I already took the tag off, but I wanna say this was around six or seven dollars, but it's a little a glass terrarium, a little house-shaped terrarium. I love this. It has um, a little door on the top that you can open and stick a little plant in. Love that. This is definitely something you could use year round, which is what I plan to do. This might actually go on my desk right in front of the window. I think it'll be perfect. But if you remember those little mini plants I found at the Target dollar spot, I just happened to try it out and it's the perfect size. So if you do pick up one of the lanterns, these little plants from the Target dollar spot fit perfectly. The last thing I have from Walmart are these Fanny roses. <laughs> I don't know. Fanny. I don't, for some reason, Fanny makes me laugh. But they were $1.47 a stem. They are like the most beautiful shade of pink. Like they're not too pink, but they're just like the perfect amount of pink for what I want to decorate with for this spring. They're $1.47. I don't know if I said that a stem, but I got two of them and I thought these would be really pretty just in a little planter or vase or anything just and set it on like a side table in my living room or my coffee table. I just loved those. I actually went back for more and I couldn't find any. So definitely scoop those up if you could find them. But so, so pretty. Very impressed with Walmart's like floral section and the prices that they have. If you're looking for some stems of anything, definitely check there first. So I think that's it from Walmart. Oh, I did bring the boys to Menards yesterday. Got some spray paint. So this is the Forged Hammered Rust-Oleum spray paint and what is in the antique pewter color. I actually have a couple of bunnies that don't really match my decor anymore, but instead of going out and buying all new bunnies, I'm gonna try to give them a little makeover with just some spray paint to um, see if they will match better. I don't know, we're, we're gonna try that out. Maybe we should try that out in today's video. I have a very, he's a very bright gold metallic looking bunny. Just doesn't go with my theme anymore. And so I'm gonna, try, I think, try it on that and see. How that all goes. Stacked books are very trendy right now and so I actually was sent these from an Etsy shop. I will link her shop below. It's called Ashley's Homestead. She also gave me a coupon code to use so if you're looking to get yourself some of these cute stacked books definitely check that out but how cute is that with the bow on the top. I actually got to pick what it said so I picked Oh Hello Spring. I just love that saying and I know the perfect spot for those so love that. <laughs> it's time for Hobby Lobby now. Okay, not a ton of stuff. I already did share a few things in my tiered tray video that I did pick up from there so I'm not going to reshare those. So if you haven't seen that, I will link it above for you to check it out. Super cute stuff for your tiered trays. But anyways, I wanted to pick up a frame. I've been on a hunt. I will generally look through their frame section and see if anything kind of sticks out to me. I'd like to add more like family photos or just photos of the kids. Now that we have some decent sized side tables by our couch, I have a little bit more space to do that. And so this one caught my eye when I was walking through normally $17.99, but they're usually half off every other week. So I got it half off, but I just loved the gingham. Is it gonna focus? There we go, the gingham on it and then the clip so we can easily switch it out with different things. And I love it. I actually have it in, in here displayed right now on my bookcase, but there, I just love that. I need to fix that. That's, that's not gonna work. There we go. So I love that frame, so got that. That will most likely stay out year round in our home. I think I'm talking too much because my battery just died on me. So I switched you out, now we are back. So if you remember back in, it was probably a little over a month ago, I shared a spring decor haul. I shared things from Hobby Lobby and Target. Anyways, in that video, I shared a big lantern I picked up from Hobby Lobby. It ended up being too big for where I wanted it to go. So I unfortunately had to return that. 
and I was looking for something just a little bit smaller in scale and I knew that these were very trendy for spring I'm thinking summer too but I'm not sure but I saw this little bird cage I'm like it's perfect it's perfect for what I need it to be so I actually found this one this was not in their spring section it was just like in their regular everyday area and normally $14.99 so I got it for seven dollars and fifty cents so very inexpensive it's a very basic little bird cage uh, it doesn't have like any hearts or birds or anything on it which I really like and it does open so I definitely have a I'm actually going to show you in today's video how I end up using this sweet little bird cage I love it so much and then to go with that or at least to coordinate with it I picked up another one of those big heavy and this he's not big but he's heavy <laughs> another one of those heavy bunnies I did use one of these in my tiered tray that I had picked up last year they have them again this year so I told myself if they still have some left I'm going to get another one because they just remind me of farmhouse so he has like a brown and black look to him uh there you go so Yes, he was normally $9.99, but of course in the spring section, so on sale. And I think he's going to go perfectly with my little bird cage that I picked up. And then what else? Let's show some color. I picked up this little guy right here. This is in the Easter section, normally $9.99, but I always like to pick up. They have a seasonal canister that they come out with because if you know, on my shelf in the kitchen, I like to switch out that decor for every holiday so this will go super cute with some Ray Dunn or my Fiesta wear and I think it's going to be perfect maybe I'll even stash some candy in here or something like that not sure yet but I picked up one of their canisters I feel like they had blue as well I think so but I went with pink just because that's what I'm trying to incorporate in with a lot of my existing decor oh I forgot this where did I this is from TJ Maxx I actually got this from TJ Maxx so this is random but I'm going to share it right now anyways I had these cute kitchen towels um I just think the kids are going to love them the sweet little bunnies there's some pink and gray and brown and will go really well I think the last thing from Hobby Lobby are these adorable little bunny plates normally $7.99 but of course everything in the Easter is it 40% or 50%? I think it's 40% off. But I got two of them. I'm debating on going back and getting four more just so we have six if I ever wanted to use these on like a pretty tablescape for our family. But for now, I just picked up two because I actually want to decorate with them. Probably display them somehow. So in my kitchen. So isn't that precious? I just love those. Just black and white. They aren't, they have like a, I don't want, they don't look like radon, but they kind of have like that uneven edging. It kind of gives that more like of a pottery look to it. So they're really pretty. I really like those bunnies. Too cute. How many times can Crystal say cute in this video? So that's really everything I had to share with you. I will link below the things that I can, for sure the Amazon things I can link below. Two, I think, really cute finds for the spring and Easter. So now we're gonna hop into the kitchen. <laughs> did I just say hop? I did. I did not plan that. Let's go hop to the kitchen now and we're gonna do some decorating. So this is the area that I want to decorate today. This is our sideboard. It's right off of like our kitchen table and my shelves. It definitely needs more than what it is right now. I store a lot of my Fiesta wear below. Not going to mess with that, just the top right here. So we have my dough bowl. My dough bowl needs to be decorated. This just is not working. I've had it like this now for a few weeks and it's driving me crazy. But I have gotten questions. What is a dough bowl? It's a large wooden bowl like this. Like this is huge. This is probably two feet long, I would say. Very big size. I got mine off of decor steels. So I wanna do a little cute display in here, thinking I can try to use my bird cage. We'll see, we'll put something together. Have my lamp from Amazon. I believe that will stay. I just need to find something to go on this side that's of somewhat of a similar height. I 
starting out with a clean dough bowl. I'm going to add back in my, this is actually a garland by the way. I picked this up on clearance from Target back in the fall. And I feel like it's just a very good like base for this giant bowl. It gives me some greenery coming out. And then I'm just going to build on top of this. I want to put my bird cage in here that I just shared with you and I'm thinking it'll look a little bit silly in the middle so I'm thinking we're gonna do it right here but I need to put it on this is just a Bath and Body Works candle holder that I'm not using right now I'm just gonna kind of tuck it I think under those leaves a little bit try to find a level spot it's kind of hard with these like hand carved bowls they aren't like super level see if we can do that, figure that out. Okay. Okay, so I think the birdcage looks perfect there. It's just off to the side a little bit. I'm gonna add in this little greenery piece right here. This I actually picked up a while back from a local store. I have the same one actually on my mantle and I just like the color of it. I think it's really pretty for spring. It's kind of got that brighter green color and it's very like wispy which I also thought would be perfect because with a dough bowl, it's just nice to have things kind of looking more natural looking and kind of falling out of the bowl a little bit. So I'm gonna try to, this one's kind of pokey. I'm gonna try to just like wedge it underneath the birdcage so you don't see the stem. And then I get some of my like wispies sticking out a little bit. my bunny now he does actually fit in the bird cage but I actually think I want him to come just and sit outside of the cage and just do like some greenery actually inside of this maybe some eggs yeah so I like to use some coasters for elevating things in here too it's just whatever if you have on hand that you aren't currently using so we're gonna try these coasters and what's really nice about this magnolia garland is you can just hide things under it and you don't even know it's under there. into here so you cannot see the little stand that I have elevating my bird cage. So I'm gonna use one of these sprigs. I shared these in a haul way back when, but they are like really pretty. It's like a wispy sprig. That's what kind of what it looks like from Hobby Lobby. And I'm probably just going to kind of wedge it in there to look like to fill the bottom, I suppose. Hobby Lobby eggs. I got these last year, but I just I think I want to stick with the whole green theme that I have going on here. And it's nice to decorate in three, so we're going to add three eggs. And then I'm going to close it and probably pull out some of the greenery just so it looks a little bit more natural and not just like shoved in the cage. This is actually a little terracotta pot from Dollar Tree. You get two of them for a dollar. I thought I might just kind of tip one to the side a little bit to fill up over here and just maybe put like some more of those green eggs coming out. Last Easter and spring, I put like a couple of green bunnies and just kind of had these eggs scattered and then they kind of help cover some pieces. 
pieces if I need to, to just kind of have those eggs kind of spilling out. This table is almost done. I just need to figure out what I want to put right here. I'm actually thinking those Oh Hello Spring books might be actually really cute setting here. I do like just a cute little display with maybe like some greenery, something coming up that's almost the same height as this lamp. I shopped my house for a tall vase and I think this one will work need to figure out what I want to add in here now. probably don't need the coaster on here but I'm just a creature of habit I've always had a coaster on here if I want to like set down my coffee or drink I just like to have a coaster so that's what that is but here is what it looks like from far away would you go one stem or would you go two I think you need two just so they're both kind of going different directions is two too much I don't think so I think it works. This is a main traffic area to get from our kitchen into the living room. So over the next few weeks, I bet you I will just walk by and shift things around here and there, but you kind of get the idea of where I'm going with it. I do really like that little bird cage in the doble so much more than I did the lantern. So anyways, I can hear the boys waking up, so I don't have too much more time to decorate today, but I do want to show you my idea with these cute little bunny plates these ones right here i just i need to put it up right now he's so cute this is a wall like panel i guess you would say i'm not even sure but you have three baskets to decorate and it's originally from hobby lobby i don't know if they still have it i've had it for a while but that's where it's from i cannot find it online i'm so sorry but i was thinking so i have this tobacco basket in here right now i was just as easy as this, I'm just thinking about putting this bunny plate in here, like that. There. And I think that's actually really cute. So that's my thinking with one of the plates. I'm thinking with the other bunny plate, I'm going to end up putting it, oop, that direction. <laughs> putting the other one on that shelf with like a cake, not a cake, a plate stand or like one of those, what are they called? Is that what it's called? A plate stand or an easel? One of those things, I don't go on there and I'm gonna share that in next Friday's video when I pull out some of my other Easter decor. We are by the laundry room. I have my pantry closet here. This is the garage door, so our garage is right here, as you can see. And I've never had a wreath here. I don't know why, but I just never have. And so I have this, this is actually a magnet. My mom gave this to me. 15 years ago, I don't even know. It's moved all over the place, but it's like perfect for this kind of door, I think. So I'm just gonna get this wreath hung up and then we'll do a little spray paint. Now the next day and I forgot to share one thing with you and that is this piece right here I actually found this from Walmart in their spring shop 
Totally forgot to share it yesterday because they actually put it out on our piano, which is where I was originally thinking I was going to layer it. But I put it out here and I actually kind of like it. I feel like it completes this whole left side over here. So I really, really like that from Walmart. And then over here, I decided I wanted to add a bunny or just something in front of the lamp to kind of fill up the rest of this area. And I decided on this little bunny right here just because I am going to be using some cutesy, is that a word? Easter decor in the rest of my kitchen. And I think he will help kind of tie it all together when all of my decor is completed. The bunny that I spray painted is finally dry and I love him. He turned out better than I thought he would. Fits in so well with a lot of my decor that I have on my shelves now. Of course, I will be restyling these a little bit when it's time to decorate for Easter, but I have him all ready to go for next week. I mean, seriously, he's so cute. That's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do not forget to leave me a thumbs up. Be on the lookout for next Friday's video. I am actually getting really excited to pull out all of the Easter decor and share it all with you. I have a few really cute ideas that I'm hoping come together. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.